Hello everyone and welcome to the round two of the Bra uh, Blinds Broadcasting Championship or BBC as we like to call it. Just joking there. So with me in co-cast is Omega Weapon. Hey everyone. And we decided to cover Arcane Exorcist for game two. The live stream is currently happening with I think it's uh, Kid and EOD, is it? Yeah, Kid and uh, EOD. So... We have a uh, atrium spawn for marines, which is first engagement will happen in summit. We have Fana and Tane sitting together, and they will run into four of the Exodus team. Let's see how this engagement goes. Fana and Tane will take out three immediately. Tane. Oh my God! Crystal, the last two v four. Fana wall wow. hack. Fana wall hack. <laughs> what? what a crazy engagement there. Tane and Fan are both taking out two kills. Wow. Well, well it was... this will open the, the doorway for Ark to get a lot of res expansion here. They will uh, pick up Crevice and Reactor Core and Crossroads and Data Core with a guy in flight control. It is good to note that there were a lot of positive changes in this build. Because we are playing on build 221, don't forget that. And one of the best introduced methods is when you recycle the ghost structure, you get back 75% uh, res. Yeah, which is a lot better than one, as yeah. in previous builds. So we're actually gonna get 8 res for recycling a ghost structure. Ghost Looks RT, like that is. will get taken down here in flight control, but Fana backing him up will manage to take down Scorelli, but has a 3v1 on his hands right now. Let's see how Fanta does. He takes out the first, and takes out the second. Gets eaten alive by be. third. Oh, we got an ex uh, Archaea and Exertus Lair. Right, we have uh, two Marines for Arc down in sub. They uh, are attacking this RT. Might be trying to uh, get an egg lock situation here against Exodus. I think Exodus is too skilled to allow themselves an uh, egg lockdown. Ryan uh, will be the last one alive. Or Arg manages to take out Tamar going to the hive to heal. But now has a 1v2 situation on his hands as Scorelli will run away. Oh, 1v1. Elmo and Scorelli will be rotating to flight control to uh, try and protect this hive against this phase gate that's going up. Oh. Meantime, sub access is cleared. Uh, right, but we have uh, quite a dilemma for Exodus right now, as the entire art team will pretty much have control of this area. Exodus will come in, but they have a lot of ground to cover before getting the four Marines just laying out the lead. All four will survive. A meaty skulk versus a wall of bullets is a simple mathematical equation. Right, where uh, you lose when you're the skulk. And this is what we had to they... see from uh, Doplex in the last game. All five marines going straight for Hive and, le and not three of those. Right, and then immediately rotating back to base to try and prevent any type of skulk rush. Oh, data, data Core claimed. As you can see, it might be organizing in Data Core right here. Or is it just me, or, okay, uh, or flight the, control was the destroyed? I'm not sure about that. Insight was trying to uh, tell us yeah, something. I don't know. Did, did they lose flight control? I think we did. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, look at that. Sneaky Skull Calmo there. Just waited for Sainomi to confirm he managed to hit him with a parasite <laughs> before he jumped in and took the kill. Yes, and... Uh, oh, we got a scan issued. We'll take down the RT in data. However, Arik will go... For that RT in Comp Lab, easily taking it down, leaving the alien team with only one RT. And the one going up in ventilation, though, it's kind of a two in total. Right, right, that's true, one active RT. Look at that, Arkea shooting the eggs as they move in for the hive. But now they will go straight for the RT in sub, which is already down to 48%. Llama trying to uh, protect it, but that will prove futile. Now we got a spawn wave. And they will take down the RT and sub. Now just leaving the one in. Oh, RKF sensing that the aliens are pretty low on eggs. 
but an egg lock situation definitely happening in sub access as Elmo, the last alien in sub, will go down. Again, with this build, the eggs are spawning 25% slower, and that is something exactly. you have to take into account. The rate has been decreased, so egg locking is easier. Which is this uh, promotes dropping shifts in the hives to uh, promote egg generation rate when getting pushed. Exactly. We got research shotgun started and we're aliens dying all over. They did get uh, eggs starting to being dropped in a uh, data core, but in the meantime they lost some access because there's no way in right. hell they're gonna retreat it because there are two and marines this, in ventilation. This two hives lost for uh, this Exodus team just losing so much res. As you can see, Gisp is Ark has lost 10 compared to Exodus losing 110. That's a 11 times the amount of res also, lost. Also, every member from Arkea is buying shotgun for final push towards Data Core. Uh, yeah, we could see the end of the game here oh, as they move. Wh the what's the, what's the thinking behind that? The Arkea has got only res for one... Uh, one harvester and they both drop it at the locations which they cannot support directly they drop it in ventilation but it not have, do not have a cis chain to there and we do have an egg lock again Ooh. is it just me or and, i saw a lurk and sub access this this is not looking good for exodus those those harvesters will die we do need to see it's power taken care of. and there it is Good Marines researching weapons one in the meantime, and it's only happening what's happening right now. Aliens got those two rests up, yep. but those cysts are dying slowly. With this phase in glass hallway for Ark, it does not look good for Exodus. Pretty much the shotguns will spell doom will if the mines will not. Along with the mines, exactly. Oh, look at that, what, what the LMG is doing to the low health points, Kalks. As well as Tain and clear out this phase gate. Trafnix also getting a frag. Remember, there's only one egg... Tamar managing to clear the area, but Ryan comes in and immediately mines it. There's only one egg left in the hive. Yes, with this constant fragging for Ark, Exodus will be left with no spawns. As we see one egg, two eggs now. We do have... These are the last two aliens to prevent this push. We do have advanced uh, armory going up as well as level two weapons. We might see a very quick game here. Yep. Uh, Arkea has been extremely aggressive. Oh, and Fana takes both skulls down. In their pushes. This is one of those maps where aggressiveness really pays off for a marine team. Look at Fana, oh my god! Especially if they're effective. Oh my god. And that Fana here, with a twice the amount of kills as anyone else in the game, really, uh, really doing work. Also, Fana is considered to be the best and as two player, especially as a marine out there, so... If you see Fana as a skulk run away, it's a better chance than staying there. Nah. No. I'm not scared. You got balls of steel. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so and now we're going to go to the Exodus server. Password is Gord. And I'm all out of gum. It's a spam server. Anyway, I'm going to cut it out now because there's a lot of happening here. So I hope you guys enjoy this and see you next round.